In February 2012, the World Bank's Technology Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, InfoDev, partnered with Nokia to challenge idea creators from all over the world with a single question. How can we put the 5 billion mobile phones in the developing world to work to create jobs for people? We knew this was a tough question, but a good question. Job creation is one of the biggest challenges of our time. Africa and South Asia alone need to add 1 million new jobs every month for the next decade just to keep pace with a growing population. With this ambitious question, we launched the m to work Challenge. Hundreds of people all over the world responded to the challenge, demonstrating the creativity and drive of innovators. Today, we are pleased to announce the grand prize winner and the runner-up. Many of the 944 ideas, of which 96% came from developing and emerging economies, met our criteria of being innovative and feasible with potential for development impact. Some, like the six finalists, not only aimed to generate jobs, but also proposed possible solutions to other pressing development challenges, such as access to health care and education, the protection of the environment, and financial inclusion. It wasn't easy, but out of this impressive pool of ideas, we selected six finalists who shared a good understanding of innovation in the field of microwork. There is Alexander Shakarian of Armenia, whose microforester idea would give people worldwide a way to have trees planted in the places that need it the most. Annie Track, by Carl Zoller of South Africa, would deploy microworkers in the fight against poaching of endangered species. 3MD Mobile Diagnostics, by Nadia Millington of Trinidad and Luis Rosenthal of Brazil, would allow periskilled healthcare technicians to reach some of the most remote areas. Smart Blackboard by Nancy Wang of Kenya would connect unemployed and underemployed teachers with students in overcrowded schools in developing countries. Microwork Publishing Platform by Jing Tae Kim of South Korea would help spread humankind's cultural heritage across languages. Finally, Smart Rickshaw Network by Adhar Balangi of India would organically generate crowdsourced city maps at very low cost. Given the high caliber of these finalists, electing the grand prize winner and the runner-up was difficult. Thankfully, a strong jury enabled us to do so in a fair and informed manner. The jury included Esko Aho, former Prime Minister of Finland and Nokia's Vice President of Corporate Relations and Responsibility, Karen Hanrahan, Chief Innovation Officer of UK Aid, Adnald Kulkarni, CEO of MobileWorks, a sustainable microwork marketplace, Vili Leidon Verte, microwork expert and visiting professor at the London School of Economics, Candace Johnson, serial entrepreneur in telecommunications and investment, and myself, chief information officer of the World Bank Group. We're a diverse group and our different strengths pulled us in different directions, but in the end, the majority of us agreed on a decision. I am happy to announce on behalf of the jury that the winner of the $20,000 grand prize is Adhar Balangi of India for Smart Rickshaw Network. Jury members were swayed by the fact that the proposal is feasible using current technology and that it could be deployed quickly, reaching thousands of low-income people. Congratulations, Adhar. The m to work runner-up and winner of a $4,000 prize is Alexander Shakarian of Armenia for his idea Microforester. We congratulate Alexander for proposing a way to use mobile technology to document and manage reforestation efforts. Putting this technology in the hands of microworkers would allow companies, foundations, and governments to monitor growth of individual trees in remote locations. An honorable mention goes to Nadia Millington and Louise Rosenthal for their 3MD proposal, and most notably for its potential to use technology to improve healthcare. Thank you to all who participated in the competition. For many of the brilliant submissions that were not selected, the story has only just begun. Our hope is that they will inspire the entrepreneurial community as the concept of microwork for development continues to evolve and spread.